In this video, I will show you how you can get more performance out of your DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, especially if you are in the 16 gigabyte RAM version. So there's two types of iPads at the moment. There's one with eight gigabytes and the other one with 16. I know there's more iPads on the market, but if you buy an iPad right now and you have the one terabyte option for SSD inside or the two terabyte, you will get a 16 gigabyte RAM iPad version. Everything below has the eight gigabyte RAM. I, for example, have the M1 256 gigabyte SSD, so I still have eight gigabyte. So when you're inside of DaVinci Resolve, you can open the shortcuts menu with option, command and K. And then here under the commands application, DaVinci Resolve, you will find this option. It's called preference. By default, there is no shortcut to that one. So I put in zero, you just have to click here. Let's delete this. You just have to click this one, hit, hit zero and then save. And then you have a shortcut for that one. So if I now type zero, I get this new preference window. And the interesting part now is this one here on the top. You can go to memory and GPU. So if you have the eight gigabyte version, it will actually look like this one. 3.7 gigabyte is already allocated to DaVinci Resolve. But here on the Fusion, it's only 941 MBs. And you can actually bump this up to 1.8 gigabytes. And thanks to Larry in the community, he was already checking this one. So he has the 16 gigabyte version and he can have 7.7 .7 gigabyte for the resolve memory and 3.8 gigabyte for the fusion memory. This also comes with a warning, especially if you are on the older iPad. So I think if you have an M1 or M2 and especially a 16 gigabyte version, I think you can just go in and bump this up for a fusion. It shouldn't be a difference. For my eight gigabyte version, I didn't found any either performance issues or even performance improvements. I still get some crashes in fusion. So I think it's just the DaVinci Resolve version that we have right now. The warning is especially for the people who have not not an M1 or M2, the older ones. If you bump this up, that doesn't mean that your iPad will become faster. It could also mean that your iPad becomes slower because now it limits from your total amount of memory. There's even iPads with only six gigabyte up RAMs or let's say even your older one, it, it's just not as efficient as the newer ones. Then it could be that you have even more trouble. So take this with a salt of grain, but there is at least this option and we can bump this up. Also, there's one more thing I want to show you. I'm working at the moment on a transitions pack for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. All of those transitions, it's like seamless zoom in transitions and all of those kind of things, they will look like this. For example, here, there's a couple of those ones you can swipe in, fade black, you have some glitch effects in it. And I made it so that you can easily with PNG files here, see what it is like kyloscope and whatever. You have those different directions where you can zoom in, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this will be very easy drag and drop. You just drag this in and then you can just use this. This transition pack will be a bonus for the masterclass and the people in the masterclass will get access to this transition pack first. I will also make this available separate, but it will take some time until finish all of this. I hope you liked this video. Hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang, bang, gong. And I'm Daniel. We see us in the next video. Bye.